Hello everyone! Hello! And welcome back to Star Stable Online! Don't panic! Rose Stone, Thistledown, and I are just hiding in this bush so that we don't alert the GED grunts who are wandering nearby that we are about to crack the case on investigating all of the illegal transmitters that they have been installing all over the farms of Yarlaheem. Sure enough, we found another illegal transmitter in Station Delta that makes four stations that we have gone through. Maybe more than that? Like, I think Alpha, Beta... Gamma, get down, Rosestone. Okay, we're gonna have to just burst out of the bushes and surprise them, Rosestone. Don't panic. Okay, also Rosestone. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> we got over here, okay. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, all right, we got this, Rosestone. Oh no, we don't. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it after all. <laughs> But all right, guys, welcome back to Star Stable Online, where we are tackling what we can on all of the main quests that we have, fulfilling our responsibilities and duties to the people of Yorvik in a slow but steady attempt to grind our way up to level 15. I shouldn't say grind. We're helping the people of Yorvik to help and assist and provide aid to the people until we get to level 15 and can finally unlock the value of the hidden dinosaur so hopefully we have less running around and more boom 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 quests that we can do with jill yes it is the exact same type of equipment as yesterday jill where all of the pieces are still broken please tell me there's not like charlie please tell me there's not like a charlie location so there's a legal transmission equipment in all of ged's exploration stations this isn't something Miss Drake can just blame on her subordinates. That uh, uh, all of her employees suddenly just got this kind of equipment on their own at exactly the same time is pretty unlikely, right? <sighs> Who am I trying to get? N kid? Kid. <laughs> Who am I trying to kid? GED will get away with this too, no doubt. Maybe we can slow them down with a bit of this, though. You wonder what I mean by slow them down? Oh, Jill, for some reason I feel like rather than go through the proper channels, we're about to do something a little dubious. I don't know if we should fight illegal fire with illegal fire, but I'm also a druid, so I'm, I, don't mind me. Ah, oh, nothing saga, nothing at all. Okay, well, I've got no evidence for this, but I think GED's exploration stations are just a front for something much bigger and more sinister. If we can't get them out of the Harvest Counties, then there won't be any Harvest Counties left before too long. Like I said, though, I've got no proof, just a gut filling. Forget I said anything, Saga. It's probably just my imagination playing tricks on me. Jill, you're going back and forth. Let's do this. Eradicate the evil! You know what? You deserve a reward for all the help you've given to Yarlahim. Go to my brother Jack and ask him to give you a thank you letter of the fifth grade. It's not much more than a symbolic gesture, but it's a clear sign of our gratitude. Hey, cool! Hey, cool! I get new mayor shoes! Those look really nice. Thank you very much, Jill. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could help more. You've got like a shiny stone with a lot of fantastic mushrooms in the middle of your yard as well. Maybe, maybe this is a sign to summon the druid fairy, aka me, and we can fix things with magic. I can just grow mushrooms and vines all over all the transmitters, have little woodland creatures come live in them. I would totally be happy to do that. Sup, homegirl? What can I help you with today? A thank you letter of the fifth grade? Sounds lame. Why do you want with one of those boring things? Surely you want a proper present instead. <laughs> Let Jack take care of this for you. I'm gonna get you a much cooler present instead. You know, Jack, I'm beginning to understand how your companionable and charismatic personality got you elected. Check these out. Sweet, right? Wear them to death, Saga. See ya. All right, so we now have mayor shoes, which I'm pretty happy about, though it does add the question of how I'm going to sort that shoe closet of mine, and the need to be able to tackle some more events. So it seems there's stuff going on in the Goldspur Mill and the Yarlaheem Farm. The farm is closer and also one of Rosestone's most favorite places in all of Yorvik. So let's pop over there first. <sighs> Well, and I have to admit, these shoes are kind of cool. And this is really beautiful. I always feel sad when I see that big abandoned farm, though. I wish I could fix it up. That would that would make me really happy if I could actually help fix that place. All right. Oh, and you know, mm, Rosestone, I'm so tempted. 
we're, we're really trying to focus right now, so we don't have time to go on that cute little race, but maybe on our special live stream racing day, we'll be able to do that. And remember guys, if you can leave some applause and support for Rose Stone, in this case, let's say throw her a sunflower, because she does adore sunflowers, by leaving a like, then we'll be able to guarantee that we'll have another one of these special daily star stable events, where we will be able to integrate you guys into special like Instagram challenges and have a live stream where we can go racing with all of you. So just remember to do that and show your support and love for our horses and we'll be able to have many more events to come. I am so excited. Just to justify the time, I need to make sure you guys are really into it. Doroth, how are you? How is you? Hey there, Saga. Thanks for everything you've done for us. We met so recently, but you already feel like part of the family. We weren't sure how to best thank you for all your help, but we have all pitched in to get you a little present that we hope you'll see as a thanks for all your help. Talk to Bob. He's got the present with him, but he said he also had a little extra surprise for you. Exciting, huh? See you around. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my goodness. We gotta go talk to Uncle Bob. This is adorable. Oh, look at the fall. How long? Oh no, that's a pony. How long has that pony been there? My goodness, I just want to come here and like relax in the grass with the farm animals. Probably on the opposite side of the fence so that I'm not laying in the messy grass that they're probably walking around in. Always look twice when you're going to be walking around animals, guys. Alright, so let's see what Uncle Bob has gotten for me. That's so sweet they got something. Hey there, Saga. Feel like competing? So, Doroth said we have a present for you. She shouldn't have said anything. It was meant to be a surprise. <sighs> she said that you were getting a surprise as well? Okay, she seems to have mixed everything up. So, here's what we thought. For a long time, I've been thinking about having a race here on Paddock Island. And after I saw how much help you've given everyone here, I realized that I'd been thinking about it for far too long. And that now was the time to actually do something about it. So I rolled up my sleeves and worked all night long. And now it's ready. The Paddock Island Wilderness Race. <gasps> that sounds so cool. So the whole point is that you should get the first shot at riding the course. And as a prize for finishing it, we'll give you a present from us. I guess it wasn't so important that we got surprises and presents mixed up. What do you say? Do you want to take part in this brand new race? Great, I'll count you in. Yes, I do. And they're all, oh, they're going to give me paddock shoes. Wow, everybody's giving me new shoes today. All right, so the wilderness race. Oh my goodness. Rose Stone, you might want to kind of squeeze it in a little, my dear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a little trickier than I thought. Can I, can I... <laughs> Can I give them recommendations? Will they accept critiques? Oop! Oop! Rosestone! Oh, come on, Rosestone! We've got to get over this! Rosestone, go! Oh, she's stuck behind this rock! Oh my gosh! This is going to be really embarrassing! Rosestone, no pressure! Just don't think about how we're going to be doing this in the live streams! Oh, okay, we got this! Oh, we get to run through the water a little bit! That's adorable! Just follow the arrows! Follow the arrows! Yeep! Sorry, Rosestone! Jeez, they made these tiny. Okay, this is gonna be chaos. Absolute chaos to try to do with all of you, like right there with me. But I think it'd be so fun. I'm really hoping this will be like a thing that gets just everybody so excited and we can do a lot because then we can spend so much time together. Oh, we did it. Ah, oh, thank goodness. All right, come on, let's wiggle, let's wiggle. And okay, don't fall off. This island is not very big for a wilderness race. It's more like a backyard, uh, backyard barbecue sort of race event. Come on, Rose Stone. I think Rose Stone's pouting. She's like, I don't want to move. These are, these are very small areas. What was that? Why is there a squirrel trapped in a cage? I have a problem with that. I truly do. I'm a druid. I'm for all of the animals. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sorry, Rose Stone. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't too terrible. Oh my goodness. There you go, girl. Well ridden, Saga. Very well ridden. Here's your present. It's from all of us here on Paddock Island. Thanks for all the help. 
Nice! We have a brand new race that has just installed itself right here. We have some new shoes, and we have got a little bit more experience building up. And we've also have a quest over at the Gold Spur Mill. So there is quite a bit going on. We have a quest over with Felicity. Oh, that's right, Felicity over at Fir Grove. We have some stuff going down at Fort Pinta and at Mistfall. So we're just kind of chasing down the leads of all of these various quests, hoping, I guess it goes a lot slower than I thought, that we'd be able to make it to the next level. It doesn't even really quite tell you how much experience that you need before you hit the next level, but you know what? Even if it won't happen before this Wednesday, whenever some sort of big fancy update appears, at least we're giving it a good try right now. And we've had some really fun adventures, like hanging out with Spirit, who's back again. I don't think he'll have a new quest for us so soon though, so we'll go ahead and give him his space. And visiting with all sorts of people that we haven't seen in so long. So maybe we'll have to go to Fir Grove next to see if we can help out with the sick horse who was there. But first, I mean, this can't be the end of these GED shenanigans, and maybe taking them down will be the kind of boost to our reputation that we also need in order to really make things happen. Oh, and I forgot how beautiful this area is! Doreen! Wait, Doreen! <gasps> Doreen! What? They're so cute! Excuse me, ma'am. I can't help but notice you look a little glum. Has life got you down? Are you overwhelmed with stable chores? Is the threat of pan-dimensional evil keeping you up at night? Well, buck up, kiddo. I've got just the thing for you. This life-changing product is 100% gar guaranteed to get you back in the saddle. Oh? oh? That's right! I'm talking about squirrels! <gasps> I love her! Okay, meeting with Doreen and then being able to meet with, uh, meet with, with Sila is just fantastic. This is amazing. When you've got a nut cake and you just can't crack, who are you going to call? Squirrels! What furry friend will follow you up to trees and into tunnels? Squirrels! Who rules the world? Squirrels! Doreen, I love you. I've got all your Harvest County variations ready for adoption. My squirrels are well-trained. They're fast as horses. They fit in your saddlebag and my prices are unbeatable. <gasps> Doreen, she has sold me. I love these guys. This is amazing. I, I have never met Doreen, but I need to get down and like take a selfie with her right now. Oop, hang on there, Rose Stone. I don't think Thistledown wants to share his saddlebag with a squirrel though, because I really think that squirrel would win in a fight between Thistledown and squirrel for all of the berries and other nuts and treats that uh, Thistledown keeps hidden inside of his saddlebag. So I don't think he'd be happy with that. But Doreen, you're amazing. Your squirrels are amazing. Your shirt is amazing. Doreen, Doreen, and don't mind my eyeballs. I just really, 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 really want your shirt. This is such a cool outfit. Look at her. Look at her and her squirrels. This is the best. Who are you going to call squirrels? Okay, Doreen, you have, like, got my vote. Are you going to run for anything? Like, master of the squirrels? Happy happy queen of the squirrels? Um, Maybe, ooh, look at that, Doreen. You look great. We're just, like, turning that saturation up through the roof. Nice. Doreen, how much? Too much for me. That makes me a little sad. Uh, I actually cannot get the squirrels right now. Oh, they're so cute though. I can't get the squirrels right now because I am out of the, the star coins. So I'm gonna have to save up my money for star coins because that I, I'm really low and I'm gonna have to revive them. But who knows? Maybe we'll be able to do something soon depending on how the live stream goes. So we've got Grey Dew. Grey Dew squirrels can easily scale cliffs in the mountains. This squirrel was injured by a falling rock. Oh my heart. After being rescued, it now prefers to live with humans. It really loves cookies. <gasps> Do I have any horses who would love baking with Miss Holdsworth? I have to think about that because that would be adorable. And then we've also got the Greendale squirrel. In Greendale, there are squirrels hiding in every treetop. This squirrel was raised by stable cats. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And prefers to run on the ground. If you pet it, it will flop over on its back and purr. 
<gasps> I need these guys so badly. They're too cute. I mean, think about it. We could start having stable, or not stable pets. We could start having saddle pets who could be associated with all of the different missions we do too. And then finally, we have the golden leaf squirrel. Each fall, golden leaf squirrels hide nuts to eat during the winter. This squirrel is allergic to nuts, which is why it needs to live with a human. It chirps like a little bird when you pet it. Okay, guys, that's too precious. Oh, thank you. Thank you, kind person. Thank you so much. That's so kind of, of, of Sadie Ember Sky to say. Whoops, and I did not mean to actually, that was a mistake. I don't really know how to, whoa. I, I wasn't really trying to look at the squirrels, but they're quite adorable. But all right, guys. So that's gonna be everything for now because <gasps> Sadie, I love your pants too. I mean, uh, Doreen even. Sadie, your pants are awesome. Doreen, you've got leaves on your rump. Okay, I want your pants as well. Does anyone know where her pants are? Because I want her entire outfit, basically. She's wearing what appears appears to be a druid hat without the druid markings. So basically I want her whole outfit. She's just too cool and she loves squirrels. But all right, that is enough squirrely shenanigans for now. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We haven't accomplished quite as much as I thought we would over here in Yarlaheem. So I might need to work on racing, hopefully with you guys in that live stream in order to pull up our reputation. And otherwise we've got to ping pong all over the world it looks like now in order to tackle some of the quests that are ahead of us and continue our questing to level 15. So if you like squirrels, do please leave them a like or toss rose stone a beautiful sunflower by leaving a like. And if you would want to join our wonderful group of writers and adventurers, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the adventures. And let me know which squirrel you would want to pick in the comments because I, I, I have to start rationing my star coins now that I spent all of them on seagulls. And I probably should choose a little bit more wisely until I can afford every single one of the saddle pets. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.